Hey, so now we're going to add a couple of custom attributes to the eyes so we can uh, control the blinking. Um, but before we do that, I've um, noticed a couple of oversights. Nothing drastic, the world's not going to stop spinning, hopefully. Um, one is the uh, hierarchy of the controls. Um, Here's the top node, um, and here's the uh, buffer of the body control. Um, and if I make this a child of that, of the bouncing ball control, this now completes our hierarchy. But uh, if I move it, you'll see that it doesn't take the joints with it. As you might expect with a conventional constrained hierarchy. Um, and this is useful because this highlights the difference between constraints and direct connections. If I move this uh, control, and this isn't actually passing any information onto our body control which is connected to the joint here. So what I need to do is fix this and the way to do that would be to uh, one way to do that would be to go to the node editor and what I want to bring in is the bouncing ball control and the joints uh, group and bring them in here um, and make the same connection. So expand these two and simply connect those two. Um, and now the joints group gets moved along with the uh, with the uh, topmost control in the hierarchy like that. Um, another oversight was I missed one of the tail controls so I'm going to apply an orient constraint which is uh, how all the others are constrained um, and there's a bit of a problem here uh, because the um, uh, the control is actually hidden inside the geometry. Um, so one way to solve this is with the uh, control selected, I'm going to press F8 to switch on component mode. I'm going to drag select the um, vertices, the shape, and click the uh, layer back on. I'm just going to nudge this across slightly so it's visible um, and even though that the controller isn't directly over the pivot um, it's uh, it's fine you can still you can still guess its intention there we go okay so next up I'm going to make a customer tribute and very simply, I'm going to um, get rid of translation and scale by going to channels, lock and hide selected. This one, go to select channels, lock and hide selected. And then I'm going to edit, add a tribute, and we're going to call this. Uh, left blink and it's a float with a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of one and add that and the same thing with the right eye to edit add a tribute and call this right blink and it's a float with a minimum value of zero and a maximum of one and a default value of zero. 
And now I'm going to select these controls and then select the eyelid joints and go back to the um, node editor. Um, so I want to add these in and I'm going to get rid of those and I'm going to put the controls on the left side and the joints on the right side um, and here are our custom attributes down the bottom here um, and what I want to do is create um, a connection between the rotation I need to uh, shut the eyelid um, so first off I gotta find out what that uh, rotation is and if I no <laughs> the actual eyelid so if I select the joint um, and just bring it down it looks like it's rotating in minus Y and I'm gonna check the other one and this one is rotating in minus Z okay so left is minus Z so if I s connect right blink to minus Y and left blink to minus Z it's only going to move a maximum of one because that's the limit that we set the attribute to so in order to fix this I'm going to create a node and uh, look for a multiply divide node and this operation will divide the input by a certain amount so I'm going to select the uh, left blink and put it into X and the right blink and put it into Y and then I'm going to select the multiply divide node and let's let's give this a custom name while we're here uh, blink underscore not just so we don't get confused as I say it's always good practice um, and then go to uh, what did I say um, so left is X and that goes into uh, rotate Z and then uh, right is Y and output Y goes into I think it was Y that it was rotating on um, and now if I, with the multiplication node selected um, I'm going to minimize that um, I'm going to multiply these two numbers by let's say 150 and nothing happens nothing happens because the value of blink is um, uh, 0 times 150 uh, I'll bring that node up again so yeah as you can see it's, it's multiplying um, 1x by 150 so nothing times 150 is nothing so if we change the value of uh, 1x to 1 um, see that 1 times 150 is now 150 so that should now um, shut the eyelid but it's not and the reason it's not is because I've connected up the wrong node so I'm just going to uh, where were we rotate Z okay there we go so 150 might have been a little too ambitious 
So let's go and um, set that back to um, 130. Uh, and now I see what's going on here. Uh, the um, joints were rotating in a negative value. So if I apply a negative value to the multiplication, then that should give us the result that we want. Yeah, it closes in the right direction now. And the same with this one. Right blink. Cool. So now our blinks work together like that. Brilliant. Um, so what I have just noticed is that I've named them individually, which is fine. Uh, it's good to uh, have individual names, but unfortunately it means that if we select the eye controls together, it's only ever going to affect the uh, last um, attribute uh, because they're, that's the attribute that is being selected. I'm just going to go to edit attributes and I'm going to change left blink to blink and right blink to blink. So now if I select the two shapes again, both of them now blink at the same time. Alright, sweet, cool.